Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Steve Martin, one of the co-hosts of MacBreak Studio. <laughs> <laughs> And this is the other co-host. We just switched <laughs> roles today. And we're going to be looking at uh, a little feature, but a powerful one, called uh, flexible clip connections. Flexible connections, yes, oh, yes. Flexible, Flex flexible connect connections. It could be clip connections. Oh. Well, the thing is, a fundamental aspect of how Fanica Pro 10 works is with connected clips. Right. You have a primary storyline, and, and then you connect clips to, to it. it. Yeah, no with tracks. Little, with little snorkels little, going down. Little somebody. connection lines, yes. or yeah, or snorkels if you are a diver, <laughs> you might call them that. So um, it's fundamental to how Final Cut Pro right. 10 works, and uh, once you kind of get it, it's very powerful. And just to give you an example, I've got a show here where I've got a primary storyline with a bunch of gap clips, and then I've got the interview footage, which is really the core or the spine of the story. Right. And then I've connected some. Um, clips to them and made them into little secondary storylines connected to it. And I'll just play a little bit of this section that I want to do some work on. The key decisions along the winemaking process, uh, you see this time and again, uh, plenty of science behind it, plenty of chemical analysis, etc. But ultimately it's... Uh, Okay, so that's enough. I just going to give us a sense of what we've got going on here. While Charles is speaking, first of all, while he's talking, we have some B-roll, then we see a title, and then we cut back to some B-roll. And if I zoom in here, it's connected story we line. have yeah, we have a cut, we have a connected title mm -hmm. and a connected storyline. Sure. So um, the deal is everything always stays in sync. If I move his clip, if I pick it up and move it, they move with him. So which is the expected behavior. Yeah, which is generally what you want. So I'll move it over and I'll undo to move it back. That's generally what you want, but sometimes you don't. Right. So for example, let's say that we wanted to move him, basically slide him to the left so that we start hear him start hearing him talk uh, earlier. Earlier. Sure. Before we reveal him. Sure. So right now if I were to do that, and again I'm going to zoom in to make it a little easier to see, if I were just to drag left, in fact, let me undo that. I'm going to switch to the position tool. I could do a slide edit right. uh, without switching to the position tool, but in this case I'll just hit P for the position tool. If I drag left, he moves left, but so does the title gets its cut title off. and the and the B-roll, right. and the title is going to get cut off. We're going to see we're not going to see the changes title. Changes the timing of everything. Exactly. Like so I'm going to undo that, and here's here's how to do it. And this is this is kind of a um, a clip connection override, if right. you will, um, a way of 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 making the, the connected clips behave differently. Temporarily suspending the yeah, connection. Yeah. Yeah. So the, so they so they they're connected to the clip, but they also have a position in 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 the overall timeline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the Grav key. And the Grav key, some people call it the tilde key. It's the top left corner. It's the one under the escape key. On on this on this uh, laptop this key, yeah. anyway. Yeah. So if I hold it down, check it out. I get this little symbol that shows up, and it's a little hard to tell what that is, but it's a connection line. With a line. With a line through it. Yeah, a line yeah. With a line it actually took me a long. I was yeah. staring at that for a long time. Like, oh, that's what it is. So um, <laughs> now that I have that um, enabled, if I click and drag to the left, ah. just the clip moves, and the connected clips just stay stationary. Yes. Okay, and I can do whatever I want with that. So let me undo that. So that's one example. If I just want to move the clip, what if I want to slip the clip? Right. In other words, I don't want to change the position just of its in and out points. Just the content within it. Just the content within it. Yeah. So um, I'm going to hit T for the trim tool, which now allows me to slip a clip. And again, if by default, if I slip it, uh, yeah, it those connected clips, the con right. they're it's connected to an absolute frame right. of that clip. And again, that's not what I want to do. But again, if I hold down the the Grav key and drag, I am free to slip this clip and leave those connected clips exactly where they are. So to me, very powerful feature. And just finally, I'll hit A to go back to your regular regular tool here. Before we saw, if I dragged, if I want to move the whole clip, everything moves with it. But if I hold down the, um, the Grav key, I can take this clip completely separate and move it wherever I want. I just moved it into that secondary storyline. I didn't want to do that. But you can move it wherever you want, separate from those connected clips. That's fantastic. So it's a simple little thing, but it is so powerful when you want to get something quick a little oh, adjustments when you I can tell you, uh, you know, doing this before this, would there's just too many steps of moving around. It's like yeah, yeah. moving a bunch of boxes to get something, move the boxes back. Right. And, you Create know. gap clips. You can yeah, uh, substitute a clip in. It's This is just, it makes it clean and easy and fast. Uh, to, to edit. And really, this whole 10.0.6 update is full of many things like this that are uh, uh, 
not world changing on their own, but each one is like, oh, this is so much better. And then, then this, and then there's so many yeah. pieces yeah, like Apple that. Yeah, Apple just keeps improving and improving it. And yeah. This is making it much more efficient. Throughout the whole editing process, you'll find these little, little gems along the way. Yeah. Excellent. So if you want to find more about what's new in Final Cut 10.06, uh, you can check out our website and check out our training. We have a bunch of training on Final Cut Pro 10.06. What's the website? Oh, ripple-training.com. <laughs> yeah. You think everybody knows that? Yeah, I think they know that. <laughs> There's a logo down there. Okay. It says it underneath okay. the underneath the player. And whatever. all right, that's good. Anyway, we just want to thank you. We really appreciate you watching MacBreak Studio. Yes, we do. Thank you.